Good day everybody, I hope you're all well. In today's video we are going through a tier list system to see who is the best team to manage in for Spanish leagues. We will go through a list of teams that have the best finance, support, reputation and youth academies. I will then tell you who my four best teams to manage based on this information and also based on my personal view. So keep watching until the end of this video. If you wish to watch more amazing content like this around Football Manager, then hit that subscribe button so that you don't miss any future videos. Right, let's get FM in. So here it is behind me, we've got Rich Support Reputation and Youth. I'm going to do it slightly different than my previous two videos, so we've already done for English leagues and we've done for French leagues. Go check it out in the above links, they will follow one another. we we'll do English first, then we we'll do French. The difference will be is that we're going to go rich, support, reputation, youth. Whereas beforehand I was doing, I started off with a rich team, for instance, I don't know, say that, Man City. And then we spoke about what others those teams would have. Uh, I, I don't know, it just didn't quite give a flow. So to, in today's one, and maybe going forward, we'll see how it goes. See if you got any comments, you've got any feedback, please send me that feedback. I want to improve. So on that note, let's kick this off. Who's the richest club in the Spanish leagues? And it's Real Madrid. Real Madrid are the richest team in the Spanish leagues with a balance of 94 million and a budget of 51 million. Now this is based on British pounds. So if you're looking at euros, it's going to be slightly different. And then this one surprised me that Raul San Sebastian has the second biggest balance of 40 million. Now on the game, they don't have a set budget, but I'm pretty sure if you load up the game, it's, it's got to give you something, but I'm not too sure what that's going to be. Maybe that's based on the chairman stats and obviously the status of the club and so forth of what it's going to give, but it was blanked out. It was, there was nothing there. So it'd be interesting one to just load up and see what they get, right? But 40 million, Raul San Sebastian. Could be a quite interesting one to do. Then we move on to Atletico Bil Bilbao. Again, if I pronounce his names wrong, I am really bad. Even in English teams, I probably don't pronounce them right either. But yeah, we got Athletic. If it is it Athletic Bilbao or is it Atletico Bilbao? So they've got a balance of 18 million and a budget of 21 million. Now you could argue that they could go second because Real San Sebastian does not have a budget, but. With Raul San Sebastian's balance of 40 million and for unknown of what you could get, that could be a really fun save, or for unknown. Then we move outside of the top divisions, so in the Spanish second division, and then we have Legenes, Legenes with the biggest balance of 34 million. And the team with the biggest budget is Almeria with a budget of 1 million. So that's our rich clubs, or clubs with a bit of money. So no Barcelona, no Atletico Madrid, no Valencia, no Sevilla. Are they going to show up on the next tiers? Let's have a look. There you go, this Barcelona with the best support of 79,000. And then Real Madrid, no surprise. These are the two biggest supported clubs in the Spanish leagues. Real Madrid have... 76,000 so they are 3,000 supporters behind Barcelona so very very close and then for the next one down quite far down to be fair is Atletico Madrid on 57,000 then we look outside of the top division and we have Zaragoza Real I think it's Real Zaragoza I couldn't see their name on on the game as Real maybe they got rid of for Real and just called Zaragoza but they have a max potential support of 32,000. And then not far behind on 30,000 is Gijon, 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 again, don't know. My pronunciation's awful. So that is our best supporting clubs in the Spanish leagues. No surprises, no surprises off the top three. Will there be any surprises in reputation? And Real Madrid have a reputation of 9,150. And not that far behind, again, just like for support, Barcelona with 8,950. So who's going to be in third place? You guessed it. It continues the trait of support. 
Atletico Madrid with 8,550. Obviously, their reputation probably raised stock over the last few years. And obviously, they had won the league last season. For teams outside of the top division on reputation, we have Valladolid. Valladolid? Valladolid? Reputation 6,500. And on the same reputation, we have Ibar, Ibar, Ibar. I'm trying, guys. I'm trying. And then, as we always do, reputation, again, nostalgia, the oldest club that you can play in Football Manager in the Spanish leagues is Sevilla. 1890. So what happened in 1890? Van Gogh shot himself, New Scotland Yard opens in London, and then looking into football for British home championships, it was shared, the winners were shared amongst England and Scotland. England did have a better goal difference. They had 10, Scotland had 8, but goal difference wasn't used back then. Let's call that fact of the day. Ashley, if you're watching this, can you be the first to tell me what year did goal difference get introduced? In any league, nation, and also give me some information about it if you can. Comment section, guys. Comment sections. Get talking. So that's our reputation list. We now move on to youth academies. Barcelona does not surprise me. They've got the best youth coaches, the best youth facilities. Not mile off, but all round, they are the best. And then we have Real Madrid. Again, the second best in youth coaches, youth facilities. Second best on both. Right, a couple of surprises now on youth. So we have Atletico. Athletic Balbao, Atletico Balbao, just in case I get it wrong, I might as well say them both. But they are third best on both. Youth coaches and youth facilities could be an interesting one to play. What, they've got a little bit of money and they've got good youth academy. Outside of the top division, we have Las Palmas. Palmas, they have the best coaching. And then you have Gujon who have the best youth facilities. Right, that is our list of teams. Are they the best teams to manage in this division? They're the ones that show up as being rich, best support, best reputation and best youth. Obviously, there's so many teams in these leagues. You have to start somewhere to kind of shortlist out who you want to manage. You might have personal preferences of that you've been on a trip to Alicante. So therefore, you might actually have that to heart that you want to manage them. Then moving over to my kind of league table, my podium of who I would manage, my personal preference based on the information given today and just a personal view, who would I manage? So in fourth place, we have Real Madrid. They're not first, they're not second, they're not third, they're fourth in my view. And today, I put them in here because they've got money, they've got everything about them, they're top club if you want a bit of fun don't want too much of a challenge to be fair there's going to be pressure on you because you can't always have Barcelona Atletico Madrid on your tail especially as years to come into the game but can you maintain that can you maintain that and to be fair with Real Madrid winning for league might actually not be enough for the president they might want you to win Champions League and you still get sacked so it is a bit of a challenge and in third place might be a bit of a surprise but Gujon reason why is because they've got good support they've got good youth academy and plus they're in for second division I always like that type of challenge get teams promoted just like Chef Wednesday Sunderland teams like that great challenges then in second place we have Barcelona now you know what I support Barcelona so they kind of had to go there for me and plus we're also doing a let's play check that out I'll leave a link above. We have Atletico Madrid. This might have surprised you, but what Diego Simone has done with obviously his budget, the size of the club, as you saw from the he wasn't on there that much. But for them to be competing up there with Real Madrid and Barcelona and just making some surprises, they made a surprise last year. I mean, let's look at the position since 2014 strength uh, and 15 season. They've got 3rd, 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 2nd, 2nd, 3rd, 1st, and then this year they've finished 3rd. They're always up there. Can you do better? Can you get them to win consistently? Can you just wipe Real Madrid and Barcelona off the floor with Atletico Madrid? Challenge accepted. That's what I want to hear. If you have done already, again, let me know on the comment section. So that's it. That's my 
personal opinion of who for best teams to manage in the Spanish league. Have a good one, guys. I'll catch you on for the next one. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe. And to be notified, click on the bell.